Greetings, Universe Investigators. Welcome to another episode where we delve into the mysteries of our existence. Today we set our sights on a topic that has intrigued minds for centuries, the theory of evolution. This theory, a cornerstone of modern biology, seeks to explain how diverse life on Earth originated and developed over billions of years. It's a journey of discovery, a quest for understanding that has shaped our view of life itself. So buckle up as we journey through time to understand how life as we know it came to be. The theory of evolution, in its simplest form, suggests that species change over time and give rise to new species. But how does this process work? Let's break it down. Firstly, let's talk about variation. In every population, no two individuals are exactly alike. These differences can range from physical traits like size and color to behavioral traits like hunting skills or nesting habits. These variations, which are often the result of mutations or the reshuffling of genes during sexual reproduction, create a diverse population. Next, we have inheritance. When organisms reproduce, they pass on their traits to their offspring. This means that the variations we talked about earlier aren't just a one-time thing. They're passed down from generation to generation, creating a genetic legacy that can shape the future of a species. Then, we have the concept of high rate of population growth. Most organisms produce more offspring than can survive to adulthood. This may seem wasteful, but it's actually a crucial part of the evolutionary process. It creates a struggle for survival, where only the fittest or the luckiest get to pass on their genes. Lastly, we come to differential survival and reproduction. This is the heart of natural selection, the mechanism that drives evolution. In a nutshell, Organisms that are better adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. This means they get to pass on their beneficial traits to the next generation, while less fit organisms are weeded out. But remember, evolution is not a march of progress towards an ultimate goal. It's a dynamic process, shaped by countless factors, from environmental changes to random genetic drift. It's not about being the strongest or the smartest. It's about being the most adaptable. Thus, over time, these small changes accumulate leading to the diversity of life we see today. Now that we have a basic understanding of the theory, let's address some common misconceptions about evolution. First, let's tackle the assertion that evolution is just a theory. In scientific terms, a theory is not a guess or a hunch, but a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world. It's based on a body of facts that have been repeatedly confirmed through experimentation and observation. So, when we say evolution is a theory, it's not a dismissive statement. Instead, it acknowledges the extensive amount of evidence supporting this fundamental concept of biology. Next, the notion that humans evolved from monkeys. This is a common misunderstanding. To clarify, humans and monkeys share a common ancestor, but one did not evolve from the other. Think of it more like we're distant cousins, not a parent-child relationship. Our shared ancestor was neither human nor monkey, but an entirely different species that lived millions of years ago. Moving on to the misconception that evolution means progression towards perfection. Evolution is not a ladder with humans at the top, but a branching tree, with each branch adapting to its own unique environment. The process of evolution does not inherently strive for perfection. Rather, it's about species changing over time in response to their environment, which could mean developing traits that help them survive and reproduce, not necessarily becoming better or perfect. Finally, let's debunk the myth that evolution does not occur anymore. This is far from the truth. Evolution is an ongoing process. For instance, we see evolution happening in bacteria as they become resistant to antibiotics. It's also evident in species like the peppered moth, which changed color during the Industrial Revolution in response to pollution. Even in humans, we continue to evolve, albeit at a slower pace due to our long lifespans and complex societies. So, there you have it. Evolution is not just a theory in the casual sense of the word, but a robust scientific explanation. Humans didn't evolve from monkeys, but share a common ancestor with them. Evolution doesn't aim for perfection, it's about adaptation and survival. And evolution is an ongoing process, shaping life on Earth even today. These misconceptions about evolution persist because the process is often misunderstood. It's complex, 
It's slow, and it's not always linear. But it's also fascinating, and understanding it can give us a deeper appreciation of the natural world. As you can see, it's crucial to understand what evolution is and what it is not. It's a testament to the power of science in helping us make sense of our world, and a reminder of our place in the grand tapestry of life on Earth. Evolution is not just a theory, it's a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world based on a body of facts. And today, we're going to delve into those facts that support the theory of evolution. Let's start with the fossils. Fossils are like a time capsule, providing us with a snapshot of life from millions of years ago. When we examine these fossils, we see a clear progression of complexity over time. We see fish appearing before amphibians, amphibians before reptiles, reptiles before mammals, and so on. This orderliness is exactly what you'd expect from evolution, but fossils are just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dig deeper and look at DNA, the blueprint of life. When we compare the DNA of different species, we find an astonishing level of similarity. For instance, humans share about 98% of their DNA with chimpanzees, our closest living relatives. This DNA overlap suggests a common ancestor in the not-too-distant past. DNA also shows us that all life on Earth is related, from the smallest bacteria to the largest whale. Now let's take a journey around the world to talk about biogeography, the distribution of species across the planet. Some species are found only on certain continents or islands, and their distribution often reflects the history of Earth's land masses. For example, marsupials are largely found in Australia because the continent separated from the rest of the world before placental mammals evolved. This geographic isolation allowed marsupials to thrive and evolve into the diverse group we see today. Lastly, let's discuss the observation of evolution in action. Yes, evolution can be observed even within a human lifetime. Take antibiotic resistance in bacteria, for example. When exposed to antibiotics, only the bacteria with resistance survive and reproduce, leading to a population of resistant bacteria. This is natural selection in action, a key mechanism of evolution. In the same way, the famous finches of the Galapagos Islands provide an example of how species can evolve to adapt to their environment. These birds, studied by none other than Charles Darwin himself, have different beak shapes depending on their diet. Over generations, finches with beak shapes better suited to their food source have a better chance of survival, hence, their traits are passed on. This is an example of adaptive evolution happening right before our eyes. In conclusion, the evidence supporting evolution is vast and varied, coming from many different fields of science. It's in the fossils that show a progression of life over time, in the DNA that reveals our shared ancestry, in the distribution of species that reflects Earth's history, and in the observable changes in species that demonstrate natural selection and adaptation. Such compelling evidence makes the theory of evolution one of the most robust theories in the field of science. The theory of evolution is a fascinating journey of life on Earth. It's not a belief system, but a scientific understanding of life's history. We've delved into the depths of this theory, unraveling its intricate complexities and dispelling prevalent misconceptions. Remember, Evolution is not about the survival of the fittest, but rather survival of the most adaptable. It doesn't propose life came from monkeys, but rather humans and monkeys share a common ancestor. Each of these points demystifies the common myths that often cloud the clarity of this scientific marvel. Furthermore, we've explored the compelling evidence supporting evolution, from fossils, which are fragments of history etched in stone, to the genetic blueprints that reside within every cell of our bodies. The evidence is as vast as it is diverse. Like a detective piecing together a complex puzzle, the evidence we have paints an intricate picture of life's evolution on Earth. Science is a journey of understanding, and evolution is an integral chapter in the Book of Life. It's an ongoing voyage of discovery, where every question answered opens up new avenues of inquiry. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to Investigating the Universe. And don't forget to like and share the video. Until next time, keep investigating.